Welcome back. We are committed to getting you answers here at Fox Carolina. And every Thursday on the 6 o'clock news, we look at issues on the roads. And today, you're telling us to check out Doris Avenue. It's in Anderson. It's only a quarter of a mile. It's very small. It runs between Highway 29 and Business 29 in the Homeland Park area. But the problem was this, that big pothole. You can see from our drone right there, Teresa Bowles, uh, she went out and got some answers, and uh, she got a quick fix for this one. <laughs> That's right. Teresa is live on that road right now. Some good news to report, Teresa. And that's right, Tori. The pothole is gone. Not only did Anderson County fill it in, but they also paved some of these side areas that were cracking along the side of the road. And though Doris Avenue is the shortest road I've covered, the community had a lot to say about it. It's been a nightmare ever since it started. Let me introduce you to the gaping pothole on Doris Avenue. When you have to drive over it, it's like you're going like down a mini ramp and up the other side and it jiggles everything. My car rattles when I do it. Haley Eldering says sometimes it's not even worth the drive. It's just it's aggravating just trying to go to the store to get groceries because you damage your car on the way there. And with the prices of things nowadays, you just can't afford to get stuff fixed like you could. You'll find it at the intersection of Doris Avenue and Visage Drive, squeezed between Highway 29 and Business 29 in Anderson. It's short at only a quarter of a mile long. Only four homes sit on this road, but I got five requests to come check it out. And when I got here, I couldn't find a driver around that didn't know what hole I was talking about. That pothole is pretty deep right now, and it needs to uh, be replaced and fixed. And maybe that one spot. But the other part of the road needs fixing too, not just it. Here's the other side Robert Holder is talking about. The community wants it gone. Please, please, please come out here and do something so we can, you know, keep our vehicles in good condition. When I reached out to Anderson County, they acted swiftly. They told me within a few hours the hole was filled. Here's the finished product. But for Gilberto Gonzalez... That's just a band-aid. That don't work. They're not only putting bandages on it, but uh, they're wasting taxpayers' money. And right now, money's not easy to come with. Price of gas is taking most of my tax dollars going up. They did pave around the bad areas as well on both ends. County Roads and Bridges tells me they have an app where drivers can report potholes. And before I got to them, no one had reported Doris Avenue or any car damage for that matter. Get rid of that. Get rid of the pothole. Put a fix that would be permanent. Because they come and put a band-aid and it only lasts two or three days or maximum a week. The first time it rains, we got the same problem, except it's not the same problem, it's a bigger problem. Well, a week later and the pavement seems to be holding up thus far. The Roads and Bridges Department tells me Doris was last paved in the late 80s. They say it's in good condition compared to other roads in the county, but they could look into paving it in the next five years, which is exactly what Holder is waiting for. Stop using the uh, cheap uh, tar and stuff. Stop just patching the holes and replace the whole road. And if you are out and you see a bad road that you want to see fixed, you don't have to wait for me to get something done about it. Roads and Bridges says that you can use their ACSC Gov app to report your own potholes, and they usually get to them within a few days, if not faster. Live in Anderson, Teresa Bowles, Fox Carolina News.